Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, I will explain how to show class timetable means my class timetable in a parent side. Last video, I will show you my class timetable is a teacher side. But in this video, we can explain like a parent once. Suppose this is the parent, he can log in. So he is a student and he is a timetable. I will show. So let's I log in for these parents. First, I log out for this account admin account and i log in as a this parent so password is a one two three four five six okay now i log in so i am going to my students so my student inside we have made like a subject okay so this is the student what is the total subject he can learn okay he is a class name is a part time so let's go to inside so subjects so you can see it. this is the student is a like a subject home economics English subject student one because this is the name is student one. So mathematics, basic technology, basic science and technology, all this subject we can show for these students. So we need to make here another button here, like uh, my class timetable. So this is the student. Okay, this student is a home economics. So home economics is a my class timetable so in the week wise. So let's make a here button and need to show. First, I will open the database. So let's go to code, code inside we need to go resources, inside go to parents, inside we need to go my student subjects, okay. And here you can pass like a, let's make some zoom out and we can create here like a action column. Let's, let's make some zoom outs. Let's go to teacher side because we are my teacher side and just go to my class and subjects. And here you can copy these lines and put here. I will explain why I am copying. Okay. So first of all, here you can see it like a get records. So get record how to get and how to get a like a class ID, how to get a subject ID. I can show you one by one. Okay. So first of all, you need to go for this route wise controller. Okay. I just go to controller routes webs. So subject controller parent side subjects and here I have called class subject model so I go to class subject models and inside I have copy my subject function I find the my subject function so we are calling class subjects so let's go to here yeah, go to schools.com okay so here you can see it like class subject tables class subject table inside we have made a, like a subject id and class id there so i will refresh the page so not generate any error because we have already passed here class id and subject id you can see it like but we need to change this url so you can see it my class timetable so just you need to change parent copy and paste here. parent my subject my student my student inside like subject list and subject list inside class timetable inside we have passed like a two argument means two parameter one is a class id one is a subject id suppose you don't know how to show this is the like a subject list so you need to learn like our old video so you can follow this series so you can understand how we can get the data about my student my student wise how I, I can get the data about subjects and now subject wise how to i get the data my class timetable okay so is everything is clear we have made a button here and we have clear create one route suppose i will click on the my class timetable so generate the one error because we have not created one routes okay let's save i save this once i refresh the page okay i have made a mistake because i did not wrong just one minute okay i go back again i log in parents parent to paste.com at the red paste.com password one two three four five six now I refresh okay let me log in as the admin account because I forget what's the email yes I log in as admin I go to parents I just copy I log out now I paste here I get a password one two three four five six. 
uh, now I log in the parent accounts after I go to my students my student inside I need to click on the subjects the subject inside I need to click on the my class timetable so you can see this is the route not found so we need to create a for this route so let's go to routes okay and here we need to just copy and paste and just put this ones and we have passed like a class id and subject id just a copy in picture side we have did before this reason okay i think that's clear and class timetable because we have already created one controller class timetable controller inside we can do my timetable parents okay now is a uh, route created successfully just go to my timetable teachers and create a new function here so you just you can type here parent side just copy all things and put bottoms and change your function okay everything is clear and now you can change here teacher to parent and you need to create a new file in your resources sites inside parent inside you need to create a new file my timetable dot blade dot php just go to teacher side and copy my timetable and put here okay so i think it's clear because we have already made before data means before we have already made all the query so it's working very well let's refresh the page and check okay so i just refresh the page and check you can see my timetable but we need to show you a student name so you know what the student name is a timetable but first i will explain how i did okay so first of all i get the data like class id and subject id inside a two parameter okay suppose you are click on the my subject so we have passed it two parameter class id and subject id this data we are getting here in a parameter like two parameter in this function and after i get a record for the class and subject inside get single get single i have created one function so i can show you here like a first record i get okay inside class model same thing i did in subject after i get the all the week data suppose going to week models so i can show you in week tables so this is the data i will get week okay monday tuesday all the week i will get here after i have did make a one loop looping wise we will get the week name so we have put here week name after we have did like a class subject we have created one variable class subject class subject timetable model inside i have made a three query class id subject id week id so here we have passed like class id subject id and value w means the week id suppose i can show you inside a class subject timetable so because admin can add and here automatic c okay and after suppose i will find the data so we have passed inside otherwise i have passed here blank suppose it's a blank data because admin not add here data this reason you can see it here blank okay and after we have store everything inside result tables means the result variable and result variable inside i have passed inside a get records one array and this is the array i have print in a my timetable so you can see it like here is a get class because get class get subject name name because we have passed here you can see it here okay inside data data we have passed inside views and after we have make a loop like get record week name start time and end time suppose we have found the data so is making like a dead format and after you can showing the blank otherwise not found the data about start time and end time also and room number also okay so this is the view show like a how to make a my class timetable means my timetable otherwise my class timetable whatever you can see my class timetable i think we can show is look like better my class timetable show inside a parent side but we need to show also here is the student name so you need to know about what is the student this is the class timetable so here you can click on student one okay student name and you click on the subjects okay so here is a student id 14 but this id we need to also pass here my class timetables here is a 
class id subject id and we can pass another is like student id so we can show here his name so let's do now just go to my class timetable for the listing and here you need to pass like a get user this is the variable inside we have passed like a user so here is a student data slash get id so this is the student id just go to web and here you can pass another argument like the student id go to class timetable and here you also pass like a student id so this student id again i need to get the data about the student so just here you can get user address get student whatever you can write okay here is the users model inside get single function already there just pass here i can show you inside user model so do you want to see model where is the model app inside go to models inside you can see it users model and i have already created get single one functions so this is the ref this is the name i can pass inside views file because i have passed inside data you can see it okay now i go to list about my timetable and here you can just pass like bracket and make a color is a blue so look like a better spam style color blue so name like show is a better okay and here you can make a bracket name okay let's go back again and refresh the page so let's see okay i click in the my class timetable okay error because i have not saved one file this reason i think so oh sets i because i have in teacher side so let's close copy with cut and put inside a parent side sorry about that i just refresh the page now so what's the error let's see uh, users not found because we have not declared about users ago so just go up and just copy this model and put and here you can declare users model okay so let's go up and refresh the page now okay so you can see it like a student but we need to show also last name so just go to back again is model and copy and put here and here you can change last name i think database column is last name suppose we don't know what is the database column so just go to users tables and you can see it here column name, last name and name but here you can see student one so we know my class timetable part time home economics is like part time is a class and home economics is a subject so you can understand easily okay this is the student name like he is a son he is a like daughter whatever so you can see okay my daughter is a monday like start time and time for this class to this subjects so i can show you how to make the my class timetable in a parent side suppose you click on the student student side we have made a like uh, my class timetable suppose you can go here so this one also show otherwise you need to go like uh, this subjects student 2 and here you click on my class timetable here not showing because uh, not add by admin suppose admin can add here data so here showing okay so i hope do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and next video i will show you my class timetable in full calendar in a student side so student know suppose he can log in he can see inside full calendar okay for this for this week what's the my timetable so he can see inside full calendar let's make like a professional work in a full calendar inside so people look like a better we can make here new button calendars and he can see it okay and also we can try into parent side but is a logical work so i can explain very clever way and you can understand easily okay thank you for watching